Yeah. Uh, again, all glory to God. Um, another awesome, awesome week in Super Region 3 playing championship football. Um, we have not played from behind since, what was it, week two? Yeah. Week two. And uh, just another way to uh, dominate a football game, win a football game, and uh, just so proud. There is something about this football team uh, that I've never been around. Um, 37 years in the sport, 24 years coaching. Been around some awesome teams, awesome human beings, awesome dudes, but uh, there is something about this football team that's special. And uh, I'm going to give <coughs> all the credit in the world to Pittsburgh State, uh, their staff, Coach Wright, their staff, and their players. They had an awesome plan, and uh, they executed the heck out of that plan. And they uh, that was that was as good of a football game as, as I can ever remember. Um, and like I said, this is uh, as special of a group as, uh, in, in, that I've ever experienced. And uh, we just blessed to do it for one more week together and go play in December um, with a bunch of dudes that would just absolutely love each other and I love the heck out of. Questions? Hi, right, Coach. Uh, coming in, they lead the nation in interceptions. You lead the nation in sacks. Got to reverse roles today. <laughs> uh, they throw three picks, and but they're able to – get to the quarterback a little bit. Just talk about the, how the flow of the game went with that. Yeah, I mean, it's championship football. And like you're talking about, Super Region 3, number four last week in the country, number five this week. Um, looks like we're going to what? Arkansas? Is that a, is that a final? Um, but, yeah, you know, they're uh, uh, awesome at turning the ball over, time of possession. Um, and it did. It totally flipped roles. And uh, those three picks were our 21 points, I believe, right? That's three correct. touchdowns off of those. And uh, it's just – I come up here and I say it every single week, the synergy this football team plays with. Um, the defense goes and turns it over, gets the ball back, and, you know, Cade and the, Cade and the crew go and score. And uh, it's just the synergy we play with. And, um, yeah, the one, I mean, Ian Canelli gets gets beat for a touchdown. Same dude going the other way and comes back and they try to throw it on him again and he just goes takes the football. And it's a uh, winner's win, man. Winner's win. And uh, we've got a lot of those guys and what a play by Ian. Uh, Cardi, I mean, yeah, uh, the synergy that we play with, it's just, it's absolute, we all, we got team football. And you can see the love these guys have for one another, the belief in they have one another um, on the field week in, week out. And that was just a representation of it. Unfortunately, only 4,000 people came out to see it. Dave, talk about that 21-17, uh, uh, needed to get off the field, under five minutes left in the game. Uh, Mentality of that defense kind of going into that drive. Yeah, all game, uh, you know, we're just thinking one more stop, uh, put our minds to it. Uh, obviously, they had a really good game plan for us. You know, they saw some things, and then our guys just stepped up big in the moment. Um, that one more stop mentality, they get the first down on the first play. You know, you get a little, a little shaky, but you stick to what you know. Stick to your guns, and that's what we did. That's how we executed. Got off the field, Ian makes a big play, trust in our offense. Like Coach Wooster said, the synergy of this team. It's unmatched, the belief and the love and the character of these men. Um, that's what we have to do, and that's what this defense holds true to. Obviously, they had some good plays, but sticking to what we know, sticking to the game plan, so execution. Okay, the first two plays of that drive, big chunk plays, able to get the ball across midfield. Talk about what you saw going into that drive, 78 yards away, down four. Yeah, uh, you know, you get to a point, regional semifinal against the MIAA champs, like you just have to trust your preparation. Um, I think that that's what everybody on this squad thinks when you when you get into places like that. Um, we've been there before uh, against a high quality opponent in Mines, um, and you know the the coolest thing about playoff football is that it doesn't matter how you get it done if you get it done, and uh, that's the thing I think these guys and, and this squad is just hangs their hat on is that it doesn't matter how it looks, it doesn't matter where it gets because we know that we're gonna play for one another and and that'll end up you know, top in talent and execution at the end of the day, so. Kate, I thought one of the biggest plays on that last drive, you had been sacked six times, and it looked like you might take a seventh one, but you were able to scramble for 14 yards to the 10 or 9 yard line. Yeah. How are you able to get away and set up the, you know, the last 10 yards for you guys? Yeah, you know, it's just playing quarterback, you can't think about, you can't think about the things that happened prior. You got to have a, you know, a golfer's mindset about just on to the next, on to the next shot, like, Sure, did they get home on some pressures and, and, and some rushes today? Yeah, but I did not lose any confidence in our offensive line. And when it came down to it, you know, it's you versus another guy. You got to come out on top to win those matchups. And, uh, you know, came up big when it mattered. 
Talk about that offensive line, Coach. We saw the run game really not perform the way you guys probably wanted it to through the bulk of the first three quarters. And yet, on that, those last two scoring drives, particularly the last drive, you still ran the ball a ton. Yeah. So after being stifled a little bit, you still relied on the run game to go down and get that last score. You could see the offensive linemen get charged up after every time they, they blocked up a play. Talk about how that changed the way they the game out, yeah. they ended up and, and how you still stay committed to the run, even though it might not have worked as well as you wanted it to. Awesome. Awesome question, Tony. Yeah, it's uh, it's just, again, it goes into the belief, it goes into the trust that, um, that that constant just pressure, that pounding on them first, second, third quarter, has a cumulative effect, and it has a, has an effect in the fourth quarter when you need it. Um, and we've talked about that all season long. That um, it doesn't always look the way you want it to look early on, and then just kind of just pounding, pounding, and then just that little fracture, just that little fracture, and then all of a sudden, when we needed it that last drive, we could mix it up, and Coach Vitz could go right back to it. So. A testament to Coach Vitz under believing that and understanding that, staying patient with it. To Coach Rumsey, I think this is the seventh different combination we've started this year. Um, Jalen Caldwell was out this week. Brett Weaver comes back in two weeks ago. Uh, Gabe Brown's out. Jeff Burton's in. We lost Josh Martin early. Um, we've played. We've started eight different guys and I think six or seven different combinations. So to Coach Rumsey, to the leadership of Garrett Carroll, of Jordan Davis, Kyler Blake Jones, gave those guys to – just, you know, hey, next man up, and, and we're going to be a unit, we're going to be a fist, and we're going to go out there and, and trust it for long enough. Trust it for long enough. So, yeah, awesome question because, you know, being the former line guy, like that's who we are. And the same thing with the defense. <coughs> there were some times, right, they got some yards, but when we needed it, we just had just enough, just enough lean on them, just enough pressure, that just that little fracture uh, when we needed it. That's who we are. It's, it's a huge part of belief. Belief. What did you tell your guys before that last drive after they got that interception? Because it seemed like they were like made for that position. Go be us. Someone do what was going to come. Yeah, I mean, go be us. Go be us. Do what we do. Um, and, you know, Coach Vitz, we got an awesome rhythm. Of, it was a run, kind of a quick tempo throw, run, quick tempo throw. Um, and, yeah, you, you just said it. We're built for this. You know, we talk about discipline equals freedom. Discipline us is the training of it. We've trained for that. We've trained against the best defense, spring ball, fall camp. Right, like guys that just, I mean, you should come out to a spring ball or a fall camp. Like it is an absolute fist fight, right? Just an absolute, just grind out every single time we go 11 on 11 football. Um, so let's go be us, let's go do what we do. Um, and that's exactly what Coach Vitz did. Time was limited and you guys didn't seem to panic at all. No. You got just enough time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a few more seconds off, but yeah. again, trust and believe the defense that we don't have to say we got to take it all the way down because our defense is, is going to do the same, same premise when we took the points and we took the field goal. You know, I just total trust and belief in Coach Lewis and our defense that we would go get the stop and uh, get us the ball back. And that's just, yeah, I mean, with all the things going on in the world now, you know, everyone's talking about do not trust, do not believe the person next to you, the person across from you. Um, and this, it's so special when a group of 17 to 23 year olds. Um, coaches, staff, that there's just total trust and total belief. Total trust and total belief, and, and you witnessed it today. Abe, this one's for you, but obviously both you and Caden, Caden, maybe you can add on at the end. This is probably your last game here at Lovers at home. Uh, you know, you go out, have 10 tackles, a sack, an interception, Abe. You know, what does it mean to play well here? Yeah, uh, I mean, this program and uh, this team especially, we all we got, version 52, uh, playing one more at Lovers. At least this was the last guaranteed one. We'll see what the future yeah. holds. But, uh, you know, it means a lot to me. It means everything to me. Um, okay. Coach Wooster stepping in, obviously, previous head coach. Got to know him very well. And then don't lose a beat with Coach Wooster. Um, just, like I said, almost left speeches. means a ton to me. means the world to me. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah. Um, this is a special place and it all means a lot to us. But at the end of the day, it's a football field, 100 yards, 53 and a third, and you got to go execute and, and, and get it done. So um, it's cool to look back and, you know, hopefully the stars align. Like this isn't our last game here, but you know, by chance it is. Like, you know, this is where we put in a lot of hours. Um, and this is where we, we've been through a lot together and uh, we don't want to see that die. So. Sorry, I didn't realize you were hosting the semis. So. No, yeah, we, we, not, you don't know. Sure. Yeah. You don't, you have no Week 14. Yeah. Out of the All next. right, you good?
All right, cool. thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Good. Thank you.